Have you ever been walking through the park when you see a bunch of kids playing frisbee and you think to yourself, I could destroy these fucking pricks? So you step in and deliver a big haymaker knocking all them out with a single sweeping punch where you score. Only for their parents to lose their minds for some reason and next thing you know there's a police helicopter, tracking dogs and you end up hiding in the bushes for a week. Death Row is a science fiction combat sports game, released in 2002 for the original Xbox, developed by South End Interactive and published by Ubisoft. I first played it on one of those demo discs you used to get with the original Xbox magazines full of hype articles. God, I love these. The game takes place in the future around a fictional sport called Blitz. It's like Ultimate Frisbee, except you can punch all these See You Next Tuesdays in the head. And you have to throw the Frisbee through a hoop like basketball. I don't know why, but as a kid I thought all the players were actually prisoners, and this was a blood sport for the masses entertainment, like a dystopian sci-fi, but that's only one of the teams. It's a combination of two kinds of games, and though it excels at neither, it's still good fun and an interesting idea. One part of the game is a good old bash em up, where you kick, punch and throw your opponents to the ground in order to stop them from physically being able to compete. The other part is chasing this futuristic glowing disc while always staying aware of the situation around you, as it can be far too easy to get stuck digging into some poor while the rest of his team are scoring goals against you. So you need to stay on your toes and make sure you're positioning yourself in good spots so you can set up a satisfying chain of passes until you actually score. The main game mode is Conquest, where you pick a starting team and have to manage your way through different divisions and battle all the other unique teams, each with their own theme and arena. Some of the arenas are even multi-storied or have a non-traditional layout. Your teammates all have base stats with their own strengths and weaknesses that can be upgraded by spending credits to train them. You also get offers to buy new teammates, some of them bringing in different stats to others. For example, I was getting my ass kicked by the third league of the game because my guards didn't have enough health. They kept getting beat the hell up until they were limping. So I hired this tankier bloke with more health and that tipped the balance in our favor. You hire these players through your messages where you also get offered sponsorships, performance enhancing drugs, Lol. and private match offers like this one where you were challenged by the training droids from the tutorial section of the game. This time promising to give a significant ass kicking and goddamn kicking was my ass. Yeah mate, that's what they all say. You'll also get offers to gamble on your next win. Sometimes you'll even get a message saying hackers stole your team's money. I really like how they actually put effort into building this world and giving it character. All the teams have a backstory. Oh my god, it's Boba Fett. Oh my god, it's aliens. I was struggling to get back into the game at first, but persisted because the voice acting and dialogue actually got a few laughs out of me. Which brings me to the gameplay. The disc starts in the middle and you have four rounds to score as many points as you can against the other team. With the hoop standing up and having no backboard, it means you can also score from behind the board as well as in front. This can make for some really cool plays between you and your teammates. Fucking annoying when the enemy does it though. Control wise, when you have the disc, you are in disc mode. The A button passes it and it automatically chooses targets for you indicated by a green line. The B button goes for a shot at the hoop with its trajectory indicated by a white line. You can hold down B to charge it up and release it straight into someone's face. This performs the titular move, Death Row. And can I just say how satisfying the sound design of this game is? My favourite sound is legit when the opposite team scores. As soon as the disc leaves your hands, you are in combat mode. You can roll or slide forward, sometimes over and under opponents if they're doing the opposite of you. You can dodge, block, jump. The B button becomes kick and A becomes punch. You can kick jump. You can even grapple opponents, usually prompting this really sick slow motion effect. It doesn't actually get old either. The map is also littered with power-ups, health and extra money, which you'll need to spend to heal your teammates up between rounds. I do have a few gripes about the gameplay. First off is the control scheme. This game still uses the left thumbstick for turning and the right for strafing. I just couldn't wrap my head around it the whole time I was playing. 
so I'd have plenty of awkward moments of dancing around in all kinds of directions, like I was driving a car with a steering wheel instead of a human who can sidestep. Another problem I have is the game's lock-on system. It automatically locks onto opponents, and again this can lead to some awkward situations, where you were dancing around someone in a circle trying to punch them, then all of a sudden it shifts target onto someone else, or sometimes it won't lock onto an enemy at all, resulting in you bashing your teammate. The friendly AI can be painfully dumb. I get that the developer wants the player to be responsible for the win, but even when it's clear that the AI should just shoot and score, they pass it to you, only for you to be set upon like a Last of Us 2 fan at a Joel was my daddy convention. Or sometimes they get in your way when you're about to shove the disc into someone's face for a death throw, and you absolutely destroy them instead, ultimately making it feel like it's just you against the enemy team, and at the worst of times, sabotage. So that was quite a few negative things to end it on, but trust me bro, Death Row is a really fun game. The studio never made a notable game after this. I guess South End went on to port Ubisoft's fan favourite 13 to the Xbox. They were eventually disbanded in 2013. Cheers for watching. See you.